Um, do my voice. Hey guys. <laughs> You're like I'm pushing it. I'm Let me from examine back this. here. I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'm like tightening up. Where are you doing that from? Is that coming from the it back? It comes from right here. I feel a little steel. Oh my hip is killing me. Hey guys, Harry here. <laughs> Yeah, we switched seats today. I'm in control of this automobile. <clears throat> Once again, it's late, late night with Harry and Libby Higgins. It is 3.37 a.m. A.m. And we are just uh, moving and grooving here, folks. It's been a long day week the rain is still here the lightning is still here and there's some minor floods here we're wondering when the rain will go away how are you doing libby i'm good i am tired and um i'm i'm suffering from a little bit of um uh, what's it called um not jet lag no, um, when someone has too many chemicals. What do you mean? Like you're high? Like my my lungs feel hurt. I didn't notice anything. And I was, I was, whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> What's your name of your podcast? Well, it's just Late Night Tip with Harry. Late Night Tip? Late Night Tip. Um, tip. Tip. T I P. Late night tip. What does tip tip mean? Tip means like um let's Google it. Tip. Okay. Not the tip of something. But uh like giving you a tip? Late or giving you a tip, it's definitely not that. Tip. Definition. Um You should put um urban late night tip. Just type in late night tip. I want to guess it's just, you know. Um, is that a real saying? I believe so. Uh-oh. It's a song by 3-6 Mafia. It is, but what does it mean? Let's find out. Okay, folks here. A girl you can call at the end of a late night that you will guarantee will be able to, you will be able to have with. I get it. Wait. That- it's 3 a.m. and I'm horny. I better call Nicole my L-N-T, my late night tip. Oh, you said the H word. It's huh? okay. The horny? word horny? Yeah, you said it again. Why can't I say horny? I mean, it's going to be on YouTube. Oh, okay. Harry's late night tip. Yeah, I just cut out that whole section. You better not. You sure will. You what know. is this, a Christian podcast? Well, you know... um, YouTube, I, I don't know how they are. They're pretty funky. With certain mm-hmm. things, or I mean, I would think. Um, <laughs> what's going on here, folks? One of those bugs is crawling on me. I'm scared. Are we getting attacked right now? Yeah. They're mad? They're mad as heck. Okay. So it's been uh, a series of events here, moving and grooving. Um Going to eat here, going to eat there, <laughs> going to this place, going to that place. Like we said before, there's never enough hours in a day. And uh, we're going to start this today with, um, I got a ticket today. <laughs> That's what we're starting with. I got a ticket today. Do you know that your name is on there? Um, yeah, but it's pretty, um, I got a ticket today. It's pretty faded. Yeah, but there are some internet sleuths that might be able to get that. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, first things first. We went to go. We went to go to this, this breakfast place called Santos Cafe. Cafe and Grill. Then we went over to um, a wildlife recreational place and. We've been trying to see some bison out there. So we've gone the last three days. 
I normally see them out there, but since it's their land and they can wander around and do as they please, sometimes they come up by the by the pathway and you can see them. Sometimes they're nowhere to be found. So today we went, hopefully to see them. We seen one. So then I proceeded to take out my drone, turned it on, took it off the ground, flew it, had fun for about 15 minutes. And then I was going to put it away. But then I said, you know what? Let me get one more shot. And in this, in that very moment, I flew the drone and then there's police lights. Well, a few minutes before that, you said, hey, why don't you try to fly the drone? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I just don't feel comfortable doing that. And you said, what's the worst that could happen? And I said I could crash it because I don't know how to fly a drone. And yes. And I said, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. And then the cop asked her for a license and registration. I was uh, instantly I thought, why would he ask her? I'm the one flying it. But I guess he was just trying to make sure you were. Um, he, well, he he asked you. He said, I need to see your license and registration. Talking to you, and I go, well, this is my rental. And he's like, well, then I need to see your license. Okay. And then uh, she handed it to him. I gave him mine. He explained what I was doing wrong, went back to his vehicle, and wrote me this ticket here. And what you were doing wrong was flying an aircraft in a federally regulated area. Which I did not know. Nope, neither did I. And um, he... Explained that in the entrance there is a sign. Nope, he didn't say the entrance. I'm okay. sorry, I'm interrupting you. He stated that there is a location where you can see the rules. And that location was the main building on a brochure. Okay, and go ahead. So he thinks that every person that drives through there is going to stop at the main building, get a brochure, and read every rule. Yeah. Because when you first drive in, the, the three rules. No dogs. No weed. What's the other one? And maybe getting out of your vehicle? I think so, maybe. And approaching the animals, I believe, or something like something that. Something like that. So then um, after we got the ticket, of course, I was upset. And then I asked her, well, maybe I should fight this. I wonder if it says, if it really says you can't fly any drones. She went on the website for me and checked, and it said you can't fly any aircrafts of any, of any nature. And it said drone, correct? Yep, because the guy... The guys, um, when uh, when you were going over your ticket and looking at it, he, he said, oh, you can't fly any aircraft in here. And I said, <laughs> so I couldn't fly a two-person airplane. Somebody yes. somebody mentioned in the, one of the comments they said on my Instagram, they said, um, you should have mentioned Officer Daniels. <laughs> and, and I started laughing. Um People were very nice. They said, "Well, you should um, actually fight it if you didn't see any any um, anything that said you can't fly any drones." But which was my idea. But I figured it should be it should be on the brochure or on the website somewhere somewhere, which it does. And um, I've flown that drone a few times, and I have to be careful. Let's just say that and pay attention. Now my drone has. A feature where if you're near a prison, prison or a restricted area, it'll warn you. Now, it'll still let you take it off. That's up to you. I didn't get any warning. It didn't say nothing, so I thought I was in the clear. Um, there was one time when we were in the mountains, and I was going to fly the drone. Um, and as soon as I turned it on, it said prison near nearby, warning, and I didn't fly the drone. I followed the rules. But in this case, it didn't say anything, so I thought I was fine. But nonetheless, it was le a learning experience. I did catch a bison, though. <laughs> Before the <laughs> cop got there, I had my drone flying, and I got some good footage. Now, I'm glad he didn't take my drone. I'm glad he didn't. Um, Could have got worse. So a ticket, I guess, is the best-case scenario. Or maybe a warning would have been good. You know what? Don't ever do it again. If I catch you here flying it, you know, whatever. But I'll take the ticket. It is what it is. Um, 
I didn't know that that place was a federal place. Yeah, neither did I. I thought it was just like kind of like a park. Because he, he made sure to tell us, you cannot do this on a federal land. This just isn't a park. Yeah, he clearly said that. <laughs> and I was thinking, it looks like a park to me. Yeah, it looked like a, a big park. Now. And I understand because when he explained the thing about the birds, um, it made sense. Like it could it could jeopardize the the livelihood of the birds that live there because that's one of the big things. There's bison, deer, and birds, and prairie dogs. Um, it could upset the birds. The birds might think it's a predator. The predator birds might try to eat it. It made sense. It made sense. So they should probably, with the increasing popularity of drones, they should probably post that. So back to the officer, the sheriff, or the agent, whatever he was. Federal officer. <laughs> he he said, I told him, I mentioned that I was doing this for YouTube. And he said, oh, that won't be the first time I've been on YouTube. So I didn't think nothing of it. And Libby, when we got back uh, a little while ago, she went online and she found a clip of a guy that flew a drone at the same location. He posted it on social media. And somehow, some way... The, the federal agents <laughs> found out they uh, went to his house and wrote him a ticket. Wrote him a ticket. Way after the fact that the incident had happened. So I'm thinking that was him. And she mentioned it to me. What if that was him? I'm like, you know what? He did say it won't be my, the first time I'm on YouTube. Right. Now, I didn't record the officer because I was trying to get out of a ticket. But if I would have known he was going to give me a ticket ticket, I probably would have tried to record, it, record him. But I'm not one of those people that's like, hey. You know, you're being, you're being, uh, you're racial profiling and start recording them. I just told him, I understand, officer, you're doing your job, but I was still trying to get out of the ticket, but he wasn't having it. Now, if I had just happened to be flying it when he drove up, oh, would have been crying my eyes out. <laughs> I would have been like, take me to jail, sir. I deserve to be locked up in a federal prison. And I would have felt bad because. Right when I was going to show her how to fly the drone, I decided to do another maneuver, which <laughs> took another two minutes. So if I would have handed her the drone and been <laughs> teaching her, potentially he could have gave us both a ticket. He would have said, when he walked up, he goes, bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> and if he would have said that to me, I would have been like, I don't know how. Yeah, you would have flipped out, freaked out. I would have been like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I'm glad it, in that. Um, when I think about it from that angle or that point of view, I'm glad you didn't have it in your hands because he could have gave us both that ticket, right. three hundred dollars each. I mean, and uh, you know what? I would have at that point said, "Please take me into jail and get me a mugshot." Wrong button. Because I want a <laughs> mugshot. Um. <laughs> I think that we are uh, incredibly lucky um, that we didn't get get it worse because uh, just something about the federal. Yeah. If it was like local police, I'd been like, yeah, it's not as scary. But a federal guy, that's the, the that's the guy over the whole country. Mm-hmm. I'm just looking at the. I know that fly is. I know we have the uh, obviously the ring light and that keeps seeing a fly fly <laughs> over there and I just keep looking. That's my ADHD just. So um yeah so something with the big F. This put, scary puts a stamp on it and it it tells you don't fuck with us because if you fuck with us we're gonna fuck with you. So and I he get was it. locked and loaded. Ooh, that's, gotta learn yep. how to use that. <laughs> he was locked and loaded. He had. He had a. And he had two, and he had, I didn't notice what else. I'm over here, like, waiting. <laughs> you should have got that burp. Which burp? Burp I just did. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That yeah, voice was deep. That, that voice went a little deep. That's that late night tip voice. Hey, baby, how you doing? <laughs> Late night tip with Harry. Late night tip with L N T W H. Does that spell anything? Late. What's the W for? With, with? Harry. 
Late night tip with Harry. Bring. Wait, do it again. Late, Late night tip with Harry. Man, we sounded that horrible. <laughs> we sounded really horrible. Horrible. Uh, none, uh, uh, other than that, everything's been sweet. Coasting. Coasting, another word. Well, I have my shirt on backwards. <laughs> and it looks good. I would have never noticed. It's a new shirt from Old Navy. Old Navy performance fleece. Huh? 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 Isn't that it? Old Navy performance fleece? I guess. <laughs> I used to love going to Old Navy. I would get a bargain in high school. Love a bargain. You always love bargains. Well, at a, at a young age, you learn to bargain. And especially if your dad bargains and you're with him, you know, you learn. And who doesn't like to save? Who doesn't? You know, a little bit can go a long way. Where's your painting, by the way? My painting is... um, I don't know where it is. Play with me. You know I'm going to get up and go look for it. Oh, it's up top right there. Oh, I got yeah. scared. Other than that, everything's been... We went to the... Um, to uh, this place here called the Aqua Place. Downtown Aquarium. Aquarium. That place was fun. It was like, it was almost like a Rainforest Cafe kind of. She's never been to I've one of those. To, does the Rainforest Cafe have a rainforest in it? Kind of. And they have like fish tanks inside. Really? Yeah. Whoa. They have one in Chicago. Uh, I'm not sure what other states they have them in, but they're around. But it kind of reminded me of that place. Um, if you ever come to Denver, check. make sure to check out Downtown Aquarium. Um, it's a place for families, kids, um, adults. It's fun. It's trendy. Is it uh, okay for elderly people? Um, I think it's okay for everybody. Is it okay for toddlers? Yes. Is it okay for uh, maybe people that are... Um, have come from the other side and are hundreds of years old. Hmm, ghosts. Mm-hmm. I guess so. Speaking of ghosts, um, somebody mentioned to me that there's a hotel here. I think it's called the Stanley. Yep. You heard of it? Yep. And there's a movie that was made about it. <gasps> there goes one of those. The ghosts. Shining. The Shining. Somebody mentioned that I should check out that place. And I'm like, is it haunted? They're like, I heard it is haunted. I'm like, oh. We should do a... Checking in? Checking in. That's what I was thinking. But um, never have I had any any encounters with any ghosts or anything like that. But uh, I don't need any now. (laughs) Yeah. Have you ever heard a ghost go, ooh? No. That's how they sound. Why? For, because of Scooby Doo? I don't know. That's just how they all sound. <laughs> They're like, how, ooh. That's how they do sound. Or they say stuff like, "I am your daughter." They always talk in an English accent. I'm just a little orphan child. <laughs> Did you watch Casper the Friendly Ghost? Yep. Yeah, he was my. He was a friend of mine. Huh. Yeah, we were pals. Really? Yeah, cool guy, funny guy, very shy. <laughs> I didn't know that you knew Casper in real life. Mm-hmm. Hmm. He would come and make a pit stop every once in a while, want to hang out. But, you know, my mom would let me go outside after nighttime. So he would sneak in and go through the walls and come hang out with me. Can yeah. adults see Casper? I think anybody can. You just have to have a big imagination. You're right. You know, sometimes you have to close your eyes and imagine things. To put you in a certain mood. Visualize. Like if you're there. Live in the moment. Put yourself in that moment. Mm -hmm. And then you go. Hiya. (laughs) Then you go. Hiya. I can't even hit it that high. I'm sure there's been times where you close your eyes. To put yourself in a place. Of comfort. Um. What was that one? What was it? 
I really couldn't hear you when you said that. <laughs> Pleasure. Do it again. It, I think it really is beeping it. It does. It completely cuts it off. How? I don't know. It's doing its job. You would think that you could still hear it, but then you hear the button, the beeping on top. And Pleasure. You just hear it. But yeah, you just put yourself in that place and, you know, Casper, the friendly ghost, he's my, he's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say to Casper? We just talk about our, our, um, our crushes, you know. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, how old were you? Maybe like nine, nine, ten. So you you talked to a ghost named yeah. Casper? Casper. You didn't have any friends, imaginary friends? Uh, <laughs> no, but what I would try to do was, this is, um, what's it called paranormal i guess this is paranormal i would try to astral project which is it's when you are supposed to like meditate and then your your body your not your body but your spirit is supposed to go somewhere else whoa that sounds a little excuse me intense. never worked hmm i'd just be like and you did this what as a child or as an adult no as a child and what, who who gave you that idea? You came up with it yourself or you well, heard about it? Um, I'd say from the ages of like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, I was really into like paranormal stuff mm. and wanted to see ghosts and wanted to do like ghost hunting. Wow. And so that fell into the category of paranormal. Um, and it was also like clairvoyant stuff. Okay. My friends and I would do this clairvoyant test where it was like, try to guess what was on the card. Oh, okay. Never g- got them. Did your parents know? Just your, just, just, did your sis know? No, everybody was working. All the adults were working. Mm. That's why we were into such weird stuff. Well, I guess it's at that age, it makes sense. You're exploring. Exploring. And we, you know, we did seance. We thought we were doing seances. I never got, I never, my mind never went there. just be like, come to us if you are here. And nothing would happen ever. Not one time? If there is a ghost here, show yourself. Nothing ever happened. And then he he appears. No, never. We never got lucky. Yep. Show yourself. But then my friends would try to use the trick of, you could set your hands on the table and move it. By just going, like, without moving your hand. This is mm-hmm. kind of heavy, but you could move. Be like, oh, someone's moving the table. Oh! Or somebody would take their leg and, you know. Like, you hit it. Hit it, like, be like, oh, my God, he's here. <laughs> I was, if sis would have known, she probably, probably would have pranked you downstairs. She probably would have. <laughs> Whoa. It is I. <laughs> If I heard that spooky ghost, I'm out of here. That guy sounds spooky. Sounds kind of like the the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> like, uh, what was the guy from the Wizard of Oz? Wizard of Oz? Never saw it. You never seen the Wizard of Oz? No interest. Why? I was just, it was just a classic. It just kind of freaks me out. Mm, it was the same person that says they wanted to summon ghosts. Didn't say I wanted to summon ghosts. Said I wanted to ghost hunt. Oh, well, you're... L- <laughs> You wanted to find them, but you didn't want them to find you. Yes. Okay. All right. Big seance guy. Uh, not me. <laughs> but you talked to Casper the ghost. I was. What's I was, the difference? I was really. I was. I was joking about Cas- the Casper <laughs> thing. That was really like for real. Did you make up that story just to pull something out of me? Um, I just, I just popped in my head and I just ran with it because I liked the movie. Do 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 do. Same thing with Pinocchio. I like Pinocchio. He was a uh, very shy, you know. He was insecure or not. He was uh, made out of wood. Yeah. What would you do if you were made out of wood? <sighs> Man, had a little short sun. It would have, and then your nose grew every time you lied. Right. I don't know what I would do. Your nose would be pretty long. <laughs> 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 yes, honeys. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. There's a dirty joke about Pinocchio and... I figured. 
You, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I could just kind of, I could kind of visualize it. Yeah. Pinocchio. What would you do if you were Pinocchio? Would you want to be a real boy or would you want to stay as a wooden boy? I don't know. That's a hard question. I mean, could he, did he have a heart? No. I don't know. Did he? Oh, no, you never watched the movie. I think myself, um, I would want to be a real boy. Something about being different. I've always liked to be different, but come on, made out of wood. <laughs> you know? You try to caress your girl and you get give her a splinter. <laughs> try to give her a little give her on a the sp- face and she got a splinter. Try to give her a little <laughs> on her butt. <laughs> give her a little <laughs> and get her a splinter on her butt. There we go. You look like a DJ over there. DJ. Oh, and I uh, used to DJ when I was younger, too. That was fun. For what? For myself. My personal uh, joy. <laughs> Did you ever have an event? Yeah, I would do, like, uh, my friend's parties. Oh, that's precious. <laughs> <laughs> that's precious. Um, yeah, I would do my friend's parties or... Um, there was a few times in high school we would call them daytimes. So that daytimes were when we had a half day of school. Instead of going home, we would have a daytime pate. So we would go to someone's house. How old were you, first of all? Probably like a sophomore, junior in high school. Okay, that makes sense. And then um, back then, I mean, I make it sound like it's so long ago, but um, I would take my, my vinyls with me, my turntables, because I had just gotten, gotten them, and I would practice at home. And you want to show off a little bit, you know. And DJ, so yeah, the house parties it was. Never never got caught because, you know, back our house parties would get raided. You know, the cops show up. People would run like cockroaches. And um, obviously you can't run with DJ equipment, so. Do your parents know that you had half days and that you would spend it, uh, well, it was DJing all, at parties? I don't think so. We wouldn't do anything bad, like drinking. I wasn't drinking or anything. It was just, we would just listen to house music. Um, obviously, you know, if the girl, a girl went to that party that you liked, you would try to, you know, you know, hey, how you doing? Try to. But if you're DJing, how can you? Well, a friend, a friend of mine, he was also a DJ. So we would sometimes do it at his house. <laughs> so he would DJ for a bit. Then I would pick up. You would take like a 15 minute break. Yeah, or whatever. I mean, usually they weren't long. They maybe two hours, you know, because people had to go home, obviously. And fake it like they just got, got off school. Got school, yeah. So maybe, what, if it was 12, when we had a half day, by like 2.30 it was done. So what about the kids who who had to ride a bus? How did they get home? I don't know. You didn't worry about them? As long them? as I got my <laughs> home, that's all that mattered. <laughs> You know. Did you ride a bike or were you walking at this point? Um, this point, I would get picked up and dropped off, but my grandmother lived nearby. So I would just, you know, ride my skateboard over there or, um, or go to my grandma's house. And your grandma would say, how was school? And you'd say, good. And then your Pinocchio nose would go. <laughs> that was a callback. That was a callback. That was a good callback. <laughs> Nonetheless, and, that was fun. And your your grandma would say, "Mijo, why is your nose growing? Why well, is your nose growing?" I'm like, "Stop lying! <laughs> it's not growing. It will grow even quicker, uh, longer." Like so. Like so. Uh, what are you looking at? I'm just making sure it's recording. Okay, we're live, ladies and gentlemen. We are live here in the garage. Wrong Uh-oh. button. Not that segment. Not that show. Not that show. Not that program. So we're back. Late night tip with Harry. It was four in the morning, Denver, Colorado. You go back to Nashville in a few days. Stop. Um. By the time they see this, who knows? You'll probably be in this. Uh, this episode will probably come out in December sometime. Right. I'll be thirty. <laughs> I'll be thirty years older. Thirty years younger. Let's say. I ain't getting any younger. Okay. Neither am I. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's a late night tip with Harry. Aww. 
<laughs> um, mm? You think I could have one of those voices? Like, um, you know how they have the hotlines for the for the guys to call for the women? How do they sound? The women when they call those... Lines. How do the women sound or how do the how men do, sound? How do the women sound? They're like, is this my daddy calling? <laughs> oh, daddy, go ahead and give me your credit card number. <laughs> and then we'll see if you've been a bad boy, daddy. <laughs> You'd be so good. Mm, daddy, I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> daddy, do you want one of my little... Flips chocolate pretzel. Oh, yes, pretzel so good. Uh, oh, God, it's so good, Daddy. Is it really? Yeah. Pretzel. Oh, chocolate covered pretzel. Okay. Flips. Is he going to make me do a flip? Mmm. 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 Big yogurt guy here. Mm-hmm. I had some type of yogurt earlier, like a slushy yogurt. Would it have like, it had like little shaved pieces of pecans. It had some shaved pieces of coconut. It had some oatmeal. It had some oatmeal. It was so good. It was a smoothie bowl mm-hmm. to be specific. It was cold. And the it was bowl, so cold. The bowl was also cold. It was so good. Something about, same thing with my salads. If the salad comes in a nice ice cold bowl, it just takes it up a notch. Love cold sa- love cold stuff in a cold cup or cold bowl. It does something to my soul every time. We need to have a cold salad tomorrow. Mm-hmm. With some ranch. We should make wedge salads. Mm-hmm. Oh, that means we've got to boil some eggs. Mmm, wedge salad does sound good. With ranch for and me, blue cheese. A wedge salad. If it, it, it's, it doesn't overfill you, it's something that just feels fresh and clean. Crisp. Crisp. It's crisp and fresh. And refreshing. And refreshing. Who doesn't like something that's refreshing? Daddy doesn't like it when it's refreshing. Also, like um, a salad. I like when they put little pieces of cucumber in there. Mm-hmm. It gives it that little refer like cubes. Huh? Just cubes? sliced up thinly. Oh. Of a Cuz the last time you said that, when I made a salad last weekend, I thought you meant cubes. So I cut them in cubes and it's, you actually meant slices. So It doesn't matter. It's just to me as long as this, you know, I like a little cucumber in there, it just <clears throat> It just gives it that extra crispy crunch. But something about the boiled egg in a salad. Oh, it just. It just uh, takes it up. Right? It really is just. It lifts up the, 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 the salad. It just lifts it up. I got to have one. Yeah, it's so good. With the, um, I don't know if we had, we didn't have croutons in it. Mm-mm. But croutons are, they're good too. Am I getting myself hungry here, folks? I know. I want a salad so bad right now. Um, ranch or Italian dressing? No, not Italian. What other dressing are, is there out there? I like balsamic vinegar. Okay. Blue cheese. I never really and had s- I like a Caesar or a Greek salad. Mm. I'm not too big on Italian I can't, dressing. I can't tell the difference. In what? Well, in a lot of dressings, because I'll be honest, like I didn't never really was a salad guy, and so I don't really can tell. But I like ranch. Mm-hmm. Um, the balsamic vinegar for some reason that's that sounds like it would be good if it was a salad with like some steak in it. I don't know why. It's really good. Well, you say bals- balsamic with a B. I say balsamic. Balsamic. Okay, balsamic vinegar. I don't know if that's really how you say it. I wonder what the taste profile is of balsamic vinegar. Um, I think it's uh, delicious. That's mm. the profile. It's got hints of deliciousness. I got distracted. I know because it's distracted bugs. by the light. These bugs are just attracted to this light. Yeah, this light is something else. 
And, and that's another thing. I, w- I wonder what it is with lights and bugs. Mosquitoes, they all gravitate moths yeah. towards bug. I mean, well, towards the lights. Guess who's looking it up? Libby Higgins. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Libby Higgins looking up. Why do bugs like light? Let's see. Because they confuse the animals. Nav- they like... Br- okay. <laughs> Get breathe like a moth to a flame or lamp. Insects are drawn to bright lights, bright lights because they confuse the animals' navigational systems. Mm. It's a familiar sight, especially in the summertime. Moths and other insects gathered around lights, li- lights like lamps. Often, mm. creatures entranced in such a glow get eaten by predators or overheat. Mm. It didn't really answer it, though, did it? Not too, not quite. I was thinking something. It would be something more scientific. I know. Like the warmth of it. Or the rays or the ultraviolet something. I don't know. Uh, Positively. They're attracted to it, but it doesn't say why. Hmm. Interesting. There it is. Sorry, folks. Had to find the right button. I'm still looking. Same thing. Why are flies attracted to poop? Well, I know the reason for that is because flies, for whatever reason, like stinky things because of the decay, so they can lay their eggs in there. And mm. um, the, 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 but I'm gonna look it up just to be sure. And while I'm looking for that, you go ahead and. Um, it's right. just I'm just thinking when you said eggs, it just did something to my yeah, brain. Yeah, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Why do flies? Same thing like, like ma- maggots. Ugh. I can't stand maggots. It just looks. The, oh, you don't want me to read this. Do, uh, do not read it. I'm not reading it, or you <laughs> will not sleep tonight, or ever want to eat, or drink, or lay in a bed, or sniff anything. It's it's I don't know about you guys, but have you ever felt that feeling where let's say you see bugs or or and then you feel like they're all over, you start mm-hmm. itching, you mm-hmm. start scratching, your hair mm-hmm. starts itching, mm-hmm. you feel like they're in your head, and then yeah. that feeling is unbearable. Happening right now, and it's just one of those thoughts Ew. that you just feel like like you want to take off your shirt and just. Whew, whew. Nonetheless, uh, take a I, shower. Yeah, take a shower, wash everything. Maybe use an SOS pad on your skin. Yes, SOS pad on the skin. <laughs> can't, can't forget the SOS pad. <laughs> yeah, that's how I get after, um, I could deal with some bugs, but um, yeah. I don't mind bugs too much. Certain kind of bugs freak me out. Maggots freak me out. What, what oh. freaks you out worse, uh, bugs or rodents? Bugs. Rodents don't freak me out for some reason. Okay. Um, I don't mind mice, rats. Okay. They don't bother me. They, what about if it was like a tarantula or a spider? Okay, a tarantula, I wouldn't want to interact with at all. Mm. Um, because they're too furry. Mm-hmm. That's, what it is for, that's what it does for me. And they're big. Um. If I had to have a choice between let a rat crawl on me or let a tarantula, I would let the rat crawl on me. Mm. Any, I'd let 50 rats crawl on me before I let a tarantula crawl on me. I feel like me. you would become friends with a rat. Well, I actually had a pet rat. No, you did not. How old? And how? Late 20s. And how? Did it just appear and it wouldn't go no, away? No, I got it. I oh, got it you... from a pet store. I got two of them. So was it a ha- not a hamster? So it was an actual. Was it two rats. And I thought there were two females when I got them, and one was a male, and ended up having rat babies. And um, I think that's why I have nightmares of, oh God, I'm starting to get sick. Mm. Um, I I have a night, a reoccurring nightmare where rats are overpopulating my home. Thousands upon thousands of rats. I wonder what that could mean. It's because I didn't know that I got a male and a female rat, and the female got pregnant, 
and then had babies. So then I had like eight rats and I had to get rid of wow. two of them. Well, looks like if I dream about rats and I guess whose fault <laughs> it is. But then the um I got rid of all the rats and the male and then my mom kept the girl whose name was Tishmingo. Whoa. And I T- you named the you named them. Yeah, they were pets. What was the name again? Tishmingo. <laughs> and uh, rats are actually very friendly and smart and clean. People heard- think they're dirty. Okay. And this rat would hang out with the cat. Hmm. And the cat wouldn't try to eat it. And it would just like hang out. My mom kept it that's, for quite a while. That's kind of odd. Rats are very smart creatures. Wow. So he adapted to his environment and became friends with a cat. With a cat. With Pixie. Pixie Ann Marie was her name. Okay. Wow. Interesting story. I did not know that, folks. That I had rats or that rats were good pets? Uh, n- Both. They're very good, clean animals. They look gross and they kind of freak people out, but it was very nice. It would sit on, like, my shoulder and kind of cuddle with you. Would you have a um, a prairie dog as a pet? Oh, of course. There's so well, I wouldn't now because I'm very conscious about keeping animals that shouldn't be kept. I mean, I I have Annie, but I feel bad about having Annie because mm. I don't know something about keeping an animal hostage makes me feel bad under its own will. Yeah. What is that to say? Did I say that right? Um. Keeping it hostage against its own yeah, will. Against its own will. It sounded right, though. It sounded right. That doesn't mean that it's right. But yeah, thank you for that. Um, any other pets, odd, strange pets that you had? Um, uh, I had a uh, two birds. Okay. And um, I didn't. I didn't know that Teflon killed um birds. What I, is Teflon is the stuff that's on a pan, right? Okay. That keeps them from sticking. And oh, I, yeah, you're right. I went to work and came home, and my birds were upside down, uh, dead. Mm. And it's because my ding dong ex husband had cooked something and left the skillet just burning on the stove. And the fumes it killed my birds. Our birds, rest in peace. Shout out to the birds. R.I.P. And I don't remember their names. I remember buying Augie. I told that Augie story before, right? To me. Um. So Augie was a bird that was given, I believe, to my sister. Shout out to my sis. Um, and um, somehow became my pet, right? So Augie was. He had a little green, a little bit of powder blue. I remember oh. I remember by his beak, right above his beak was like a yellow, a little what, yellow. Is it he, a parakeet? And he had a little fuzzy. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So Augie, we named him Augie because my sister's birthday is in August. Now, I had a pretty decent sized room and I would always leave the bird, let the bird out. I would take the bird out of the, its cage, let it fly in my room. My mom would get upset because it was shit everywhere and then I would have to clean it up. So on one occasion, Augie was out in my room flying like he would do. And a friend happened to come over. Now, why I thought it was a good idea to tell my friend, you want to see Augie fly? I went. I went like this to let him fly. Obviously, he his wings didn't it hit. He hit my ceiling, dropped to the floor. I picked him up. His neck was snapped. Stop it. And I tried to give him CPR with my sisters in the bathroom. And I'll never forget it. We buried him in our yard in a K-Swiss classic shoebox. We had a memorial for him and everything. Now, my neighbor, my good friend, two weeks later gets a bird. And guess what he names the bird to? me. Augie. Augie. <laughs> but moral of the story is do not. Toss your bird to fly. How old were you? I was young. I was probably 10. And how mad was your sister that you did this? I don't remember, to be honest. I don't know if she was mad or she was more felt bad for me. I wish that she could call in right now and tell us. 
I don't. Really, I have to ask you that question. But is it your? Was it your older sister or your younger sister? My group? middle sister. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that was that. Never had a bird ever since. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I wouldn't let you have a bird. But a rat, a mouse, never. <laughs> yeah, my, a friend of my, not my cousin, actually had a uh, piranhas, and piranhas are illegal. And he had one piranha. He would feed the piranha rats and mice. Oh God! And the per- he would starve the piranha on purpose. Stop! I don't want to hear this. It's animal him. abuse. Now, um, but back to this, he shouldn't have had one in the first place. They're illegal, and I think it was called a black piranha, which I think they're like the most. Um, it just swimming around in a thing. Swimming around in a fish tank. That's sad. And the piranhas, I don't know if you've seen videos, but their teeth are like sharp. Yeah, I don't want to see a piranha. I don't want to encounter one in the water or elsewhere. Yeah. They'll get your ass. They'll get you. They'll take something off. Your finger, <laughs> your ding dong, <laughs> a nipple. Your ding dong. Your lips. They'll just shred you. So, never yeah. be, I'm sorry. I said, well. Yeah, fish, never. Some I'm people itching. are. Some people are into, um, what do you call those? Um, warm water fish, is it? Salt water? Salt water fish? It's warm water, salt water <laughs> fish. <laughs> oh, man. One time I, one time at the church picnic, we had a, a thing where you throw a ball. And if it landed in the little fish, fish tank, you know, those little bitty fish tanks, you could take the fish home. And I wanted this fish so freaking bad. What'd you do for the fish? I had to throw the golf ball into it okay so i i won the fish and i was so happy that it was my first fish ever and took it home and then immediately poured like tap water in in the thing and killed the fish yeah i guess it has to match it has yeah i didn't know that there's a science to it and i was like speaking of fish but that's wild i'm sad i was sad and i'm sad now thinking about how I was not guided in the right direction of putting this fish in the right temperature. Yeah. Have you ever had any fish since? <sighs> nope. Mm. Speaking of fish, um, there was these, they would always come dressed up. These guys that would try to get you to go to their church. I'm from Chicago. Their church happened to be in Indiana, and they would ride their bikes. Oh, because it was right over the way there? Yeah, on the way. Gary? Uh, Gary. It was, you know, we're 45 minutes away from the border of Indiana. So they would come, and they would be dressed in, like, their white, you know, dress-up shirts, black slacks with a tie. And if we are outside playing basketball, they would be cool with us and play basketball with us. But then they would invite us to their church. And they would say, um, they would come on Sunday. They'd pick us up on a bus. And we, they would take us to their church. And for us going to the church, one of them would eat, swallow a goldfish. So I guess intrigue us to want to go. I never went. Intrigue you? But it, to me, it was a red flag because why would you Why would you tell a kid like, uh, oh, if you could, you, you know, we come to our church, we'll pick you guys up. And, we'll, you know, for you guys coming to the church, we'll swallow a goldfish, one of them. And I was, Why would you kill one of God's creatures to, to go... Praise God. It never made sense to me, and I was young. Did you go? No, never went. Because you were like, that is a red flag, even as a kid. And, and Yeah, even as a kid. Were they, what were they, They Mormons? were like Mormons or something, yeah. and they would ride their bikes through. You would see them everywhere. There was always like two guys. And those, uh, from what I understand, those uh, guys have, have to do that missionary work. And I, I don't, I mean, I don't doubt it, but the thing is like, well, they're not supposed to drink coffee or do anything like that. So why are they allowed to swallow a goldfish? I have no idea. This is bizarre. Yeah. So it was. There's a lot of animal <laughs> abuse in this episode. Episode. I'm sorry, guys. In this late night. Uh, late night tip. tip with Harry. Now we're gonna do um, segment. What if okay. this or that? How did we do it last time? Uh, would you rather? Okay. Would you rather have a? Um, would you rather? Is it a would you rather game? That's We're going to do spooky sound. Would you rather segment? Okay. Would you rather keep it simple, drink unsweetened iced tea or a, f- a flat Coca-Cola? Coke. 
100 percent would you rather go skydiving or or be on a blimp uh blimp limp would you rather lose a pinky a toenail a pinky toe or your big toe pinky pinky okay i was gonna ask why is that um hmm. dog or cat Ooh, it's hard hmm Say, let it come from the heart. Dog. Okay. Dog. Would you rather eat a shoe? Or would you rather eat a molded fruit? A rotten fruit? <laughs> I have to eat the whole shoe? Shoelace and everything? Um... That was probably a bad one right there. I mean, I'll eat the shoe. I don't want to eat mold. Okay. I'll do my best I can chewing up the leather. <laughs> Hoping it's made of canvas. Hopefully. <laughs> Would you rather oh. wear yellow or wear red? Yellow. Okay. Now you can ask me. Oh. You know what? We're going to do two more. We're going to take it up a notch. Would you rather. Oh, shit. Taking it up a notch. Would you rather give or receive? Give. Okay. Unless you're talking about. <laughs> Unless you're talking about what? <laughs> All right. Would you rather. Damn. I didn't think this would be that hard. Would you rather. Ooh, would you rather, if you had to get rid of one or the other, would you get rid of Crystal or Carla? Not, I'm not doing that. I don't get rid of people. Oh like, God. I won't play F, Mary kill. I don't do hypothetical get rid of, rid of people. Okay. Because as you say, don't put that, don't that, don't put that into the universe. Okay. Um, we need Mm -hmm. Okay, go hit, hit me with it. All right. Would you rather have to eat only hot dogs for the rest of your life or not wear shoes for the rest of your life? Wow, you came ready and prepared. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I just thought of it. Well, you said it so confidently. Eat hot dogs for the rest of my life or wear no shoes. Shh. <laughs> um... I guess um, hot dogs for the rest of my life. I eat those. All right. Would you rather get a hair plucked out every time you said a cuss word? Or would you rather step on a nail every time you said your own name? A hair. <laughs> a hair. <laughs> Would you rather um, have to greet people by farting? Mm. Every time you met somebody new, you'd have to fart. <laughs> hey, my, hey, what? Uh, like you'd say hi, and then you'd have to say, this is, here's a fart for you. Or <laughs> would you rather meet somebody and then have to just say, can I, ki can I kiss you on the butt and have to go on their butt? First time you met them. <sighs> so you either have to. Announce I would, a fart, I would fart or kiss their butt. I would fart and lift my leg up while I fart. Might as well. What if it was a hot chick? Then, oh man, then it is what it is. Oh no, if it was a hot chick, I would do the the, uh, and, <laughs> the, booty, the, the kiss. booty kiss. Okay. Um, would you rather <clears throat> have to change your name to Mr. Stinky Booty Hole or... Change your name to Mr. Ding Dong Man. Mr. Ding Dong Man. <laughs> We're going to clap for that one. 
Would you rather um, live in a hole in the ground? Mm. So like a very small hole. Mm. Or live in a, in a swimming pool. So you either have to sleep in a swimming pool, like in a raft or just in the water, or live, sleep in a hole in the ground. Mm, that's a good one. I probably the pool. I I think the <laughs> underground could be cool, but if you deck it out, you know, put a little flat screen TV in there. <laughs> but you don't have much space. Mm. Maybe a six by six. Probably pool. Okay. Would you rather have to um go to all all grades over again as an adult? Hmm. Or um, eat ten maggots a day. Oh, I'll go. I'll go through everything all over again. Kindergarten, <laughs> first grade, preschool. I'll do it all. I'll go to head every, start. He, everything head start. Would you rather have bad breath for your the rest of your life, or have bad body odor? Mmm, damn, that's a good one. Um, how bad is the body odor? Bad, just funky. Both of them are Ernian, terrible. Smell like some onions. People can smell you coming. Oh, way. one of those. I guess bad breath, because I cover it <laughs> with some gum. You can't cover either one of them. That's the thing. Bad breath. They're chronic. Bad breath. Yeah, cause you stink, man. That's that's a hard one. Why you thought about that? I'm just thinking of stuff. Well, you're good at thinking that you stuff. You want another one? Hit me with it. Hit me with it, baby. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Would you rather <laughs> every time you achieved <laughs> scream out, God, I love spaghetti, or <laughs> every time you <laughs> you scream out, God, I love pork chops. God, I love spaghetti. <laughs> every time I... Every time I... I do this. You sound like fairy dust? Uh, yeah, it's fairy dust. No, you have to say, I love spaghetti. I, I love spaghetti. And you can't explain it. You just... You do it, and then the person, person will be like, huh? Girl, uh-huh. And you don't, you can't ever explain it. You just every single time. You I'll be it. like, <laughs> God, I love spaghetti. She'll be like, huh? Uh-huh. Huh? That's not cool. <laughs> That's a good one. I, I, I need to get better at these what ifs. Would you rather poop out of your mouth? <laughs> right? Right. Or would you rather... Pee out of your mouth. <laughs> pee. That was a horrible one. Pee. 100% pee. Like, hey, guys. Hey, guys. Dookie breath here. When uh, Speaking of pee, you know what it reminds me of? You ever see one of those cool stickers on the back of a pickup truck or a car with a little guy yeah. piss, peeing on something? Usually like Chevy or Ford. Uh, exactly. <laughs> God, those used to be really popular. Those like, yeah, bad. I'm really showing these Ford. Pe- these people love Fords. I'm showing them. Or the uh, are also the little the women that would be on the on the you know what I'm talking about the silhouette the silhouette where they're sitting. It's like boobs, legs. That was that brings me that makes me think about the '90s, which I was a little kid, but uh, I remember those. Yeah, I was a kid too. Also, the Playboy Bunny. What's the age difference between us? It's it's up it's it's there. Let's just say it's there. What is it? I don't know. I'm like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, and I don't even care. I don't know how old you are. I don't even know, and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really notice age difference in us until um, I go to stand up, and then I'm like, oh, God damn it, I'm old. <laughs> yep. It's all right. We talked the other day. She said, wait till you get my age or wait till you 
back starts hurting or yeah it was a very elderly thing to say yes they wait and she's right one day we're all gonna be there folks so i don't make fun of nobody but and you don't and you're uh you're nice about (laughs) the fact that um i'm elderly (laughs) not elderly. and i ain't gonna say nothing about how you yesterday we're riding a skateboard and then you're like i don't know if if i'm falling different because i'm getting older or i'm just stiff yeah, I was right. I used to skateboard, and yeah, I attempted to get on. I went on a ramp, and to wrap this up, um, I went. I thought on, it said two hours. I was like, I know. "What?" I went on a ramp, and I fallen before off a skateboard. I fell down. But I don't know if this makes sense. You have to know how to fall. You have to like lean. You have to know how to fall and roll into the fall. You're gonna roll into it. <laughs> so I felt a little stiff. I felt a little stiff. He fell down and went, oh, my hip is killing me. Where, where are you doing that from? Is that coming from the it back It comes from right here. Oh. Can't even. Yeah, one day you're going to talk like that. You're going to be like, I used to skateboard and not fall down. <laughs> you do those so good. I used to skateboard and not fall down at all. Now look at me. I fall down every time I skateboard. Get out of here. It's a medical emergency every time I fall down. Are you holding your breath while you do that? I don't know. (laughs) I can't tell. (laughs) No. You're not? It sounds like you're like compressing and you're like. I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it from back here. I'm. (gasps) <gasps> I'm like tightening up. Yeah, you're tightening. I'm tightening up my hole. Whoa. Not that hole. In this that. hole. <laughs> if they still did prank calls, I could prank call as an old man and say, Hey, your son's over here at the skate park and he needs your help. <laughs> Sounds like he needs some help. Get out, get out of my damn yard and get out of your skateboards and drones. When I hear that voice, I'm thinking of a stroke coming. It sounds like they're stressed I'm out. I'm not having a stroke. I just want these goddamn kids to get their drones out of my yard. <laughs> and it's me. <laughs> these flies are insane. What are all these god darn flies in here for? I'm just amazed. I I never really noticed how many flies there are. Can you do any impressions before we go? Stop. uh, uh, Who's that? You were going to say Scooby-Doo? No, that's uh, the little... uh, Scrappy-Doo? No, that's the little... um, Donald Duck? Donald Duck. Yeah, I can't do that. I think so. But you didn't say anything. You just went... (laughs) I can't do any voices. Um, if you were to imitate my voice, what would it sound like? If you were to imitate my voice, how would it sound? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Woo! Yeah. Do it some more. Do Hi. my real voice. Do my real voice. <laughs> <laughs> that is not my voice, is it? Damn, I can't hit it that high. Um, do my voice. Well, you have different voices. This is your cool guy voice. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm from Chicago. I grew up in Chicago. Mm-hmm. We got alleys in Chicago. Uh-huh. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Late Night Tip with Harry. Oh. And then this is your excited, your on the internet voice. Hey guys, Harry! Hey guys, Harry here! Hey guys, Harry here! And this is your voice when you're trying to be suave with the lady. How you doing? How you doing? What's your name? No, it's this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know you're eating lunch right now, but um, couldn't help but come over and see you ladies. And then I get a round of applause. And then they go, ew, gross. Yeah, I think everybody has different voices. You yeah. know, um, sh- when I get overly excited, some my voice will pitch up. Um, and it happens. Some people can be smooth all the time. Some people are smooth all the time. But yeah, your voice I cannot hit. You did. I tried. That was fun. That was fun. 
yeah, this um, this was something she asked. She's like, hey, we should, um, would you like to do a podcast for your um, like episode for your channel? I'm like, that'd be fun. Just us sitting here chit chatting it up at 4:30 in the morning. <laughs> That'll be fun. 4:43. Um, wow, almost five in the morning, folks. The sun's about to come up. The birds are about to start chirping. I don't hear the robins, though. The robins. <laughs> they must. Uh, they must be settled and have their nests. Must be. They must have their babies growing and stuff. Probably this because they're not making noise like they were. Probably this whole episode was just nothing brought to you by. It was nothing but animals. This whole episode. But yeah, this is something we just did for fun. Thank you for letting me do this. I hope you guys enjoyed it, liked it. We should do these more often where I, we do a switcheroo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You should. Hope you guys enjoyed the Cooking with Friends video. Who knows when we'll do another one of those because everyone is everywhere, has their own schedules. But thank you for watching, checking in with Harry and Libby. Harry checking out here. Wrong button. Peace. Peace.